Since the introduction of the Lightstorm 300D Mark II, all Aperture lights have the ability to update their firmware to add new skills to each light's feature set. In the Aperture ecosystem, there are two ways to perform a firmware update, both dependent on the light's capabilities as well as the design of the update. The first method for performing a firmware update is via USB. Larger fixtures, including the Lightstorm 300D Mark II, 300X, 600D Pro, and Nova P300C at the time of recording all feature a USB port on their control box. This provides a physical, quick, and simple access point for users wishing to perform an update. First, download the desired firmware from the support tab on the Aperture website or the individual product page. Then unzip the folder and copy the update files onto the root directory of your USB drive. This must be a FAT16 or FAT32 formatted drive in order to work properly. Some users have had issues with updating their light using certain USB drives that may be old, malfunctioning, or too high in capacity. So if you have any errors stemming from the USB drive, try another one. After copying the files onto your USB, power on the light fixture and ensure that the lamp head and control box are connected. If the lamp head and control box are not connected, this will result in an incomplete update. Insert the drive into the USB port on the side of the desired control box. Then go into the system menu and select Update Firmware. If the previous steps have been followed, then the fixture should begin updating. Please reference the text file bundled with your firmware update to verify that the update has installed the correct firmware on your device. If you continue to have any issues with this process, please contact our customer support team via www.aperture.com support. The second method for performing a firmware update is via the Cytus Link OTA, or over-the-air wireless updating system. For fixtures without a USB port, including the MC, Accent B7C, and Lightstorm 60D and 60X at the time of recording, Cytus Link is the only method to perform an update. For fixtures with USB ports like the LS600D Pro and Nova P300C, updating via Cytus Link may or may not be available depending on the update. If you do not see the desired update file in Cytus Link, try checking the website for the firmware file for USB installation. The first step to performing this update is to install the Cytus Link mobile app and create an account if you do not already have one. Afterward, create a scene to add your fixture into and tap the green plus button to add new fixtures. At this point, if you have not already done so, please set the fixture to Bluetooth pairing mode by entering the system menu and selecting BT Reset. After it has been reset, you should be able to add the fixture to your scene in Cytus Link. In the fixtures management menu, Next to the name or ID for each light, you will see three dots, indicating additional menu options. Tap on that button, and then select Firmware Update. If there is an orange circle next to the Firmware Update option, then Cytus Link has already discovered an update for your fixture. If not, simply tap on the button to trigger Cytus Link to search for any updates. After starting the update, please be sure to stay close to the fixture that you are updating in order to allow for the best signal and data transfer speeds. If you have any issues performing this update, simply try again, or contact the Cytus Link team at feedback at Cytus.link, or the Aperture customer support team via www.aperture.com support. Now that you've performed a firmware update your fixture should have all the latest features, allowing you to focus on creating stunning images. <laughs>